Hello everyone and welcome to the course of 5G Radio Network Planning and Design. So in this course by Telcoma, we are going to discuss about 5G Radio Access Network Planning and its design. So let's start with the very first topic which is Radio Network Planning. So what is Radio Network Planning? So it is an essential task for the wireless networks. Wireless networks and it refers to calculating the total number of total number of sites its location and configuration of the radio network nodes so it is an important task where we can calculate the total number of sites where it is located and the total configuration of all the sites so the cell deployment architecture this could be classified into standalone and overlay architectures. Here, a network deployment, it consists of MM wave small cells and these refers to the deployment of MM wave small cells on top of existing macro relay networks. So the existing that means the pre 5G macro cell layer it is mainly for coverage as well as mobility and signaling problems which originates from MM wave small cell layer and, and it exists for the capacity boost. The much wider bandwidth as well as the beam forming or MIMO capability Together with the reduced access link distances, they give the MM wave small cells the capability to increase the system capacity. So here, all the control signaling is supported by the existing macro cells and high data rate transmission, which go through the MM wave small cell network. Here, the 5G radio planning is now of utmost importance since not only it requires cost optimized deployment which is capable of handling a variety of demand constraints. So here the three main constraints are there which is coverage, capacity and cost. So there is a requirement to study uh, these constraints for a range of cases which reflect the scenarios from dense to ultra dense network deployment so that we can achieve the high capacity. So in radio network planning there is a mainly coverage on capacity, uh, focus on coverage, capacity and also the cost. So whenever we require to plan a new network we have to consider these uh, parameters in our mind. Thank you.